Box art is important when it comes to marketing a video game, right? I mean, you're walking through GameStop and the first thing you see is the front of the case. If it looks good, you might pick it up and investigate further. If not, well, forget about it. Most wrestling games feature at least one big caliber wrestler, I mean, superstar, on the cover art. I think it's safe to say Hulk Hogan holds the record for most cover appearances, spanning WWF, WCW, and beyond across three decades. Wow. Goldberg has been on quite a few as well. Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, and The Undertaker also have quite the catalog of covers under their belts. Even Paul the Big Giant Show White had more than a couple. And who could forget Vinnie Mac's appearance? Hey, pal. It's safe to say all wrestling game covers from larger promotions feature at least one wrestler. Well then what the hell happened to WrestleMania 21? Pfft. I'd rather not talk about that one. There are plenty of top of the line covers out there that really stand out for all the right reasons. And then there's the ones that are, well, in your house for example. I mean, I get it. They're about to come crashing down on this house, but ah, forget it. This game didn't make much sense. Why should the cover art? Here we got a shot of Giant's Big Show, and all four guys look like they're in astonishing pain for some reason. Looks like a high school collage. Oh yeah, this one's really cool. Holy crap, why not put the entire roster on the cover? Yikes. Is that a boxing ring? WCW Mayhem features the new WCW logo and was released well after the new set and ring design for Nitro, yet the old ring can be seen in the background. This is most likely due to the game starting production before the rebranding of the company, or they just figured we wouldn't notice, or wouldn't care, or they just didn't care. Hell, I don't even care, and wrestling games are kind of my thing. Different regions often receive different covers for the same game. WCW NWO Revenge has the same four wrestlers on the cover, but in the PAL version, they're in different poses, and Nash is wearing a Wolfpack shirt for some reason. The PAL version of Thunder features a lonely Bill Goldberg, and for once, he's not in a fit of rage. That region also received a unique cover for SmackDown 2, along with a few other WWE titles on the PS2. WrestleMania 18 on the GameCube swapped Austin for The Rock, while Day of Reckoning added a few more superstars. WWE Crush Hour also added some wrestlers to the PAL version art, which looks a bit odd when you're used to this one. Wow, the one game with no wrestlers on the cover in the US got some here, but I'd rather not... well, you know. WCW Nitro. Same game, different name. Wait, mm, flip that. The PS1 version was released in 98, followed by the N64 version a year later, but they didn't share the same cover art. But then again, they're not the same game, so... It makes sense, I guess. These days, well, the covers are all pretty much the same, but so are the games. I miss these unique covers, but then again, I miss a lot of stuff that's not relevant these days. Oh, it's true. It's 